Hey everybody, my name is Kristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. So today I have a piece of furniture that I got. It's part of a set. This one is more of the chest. There's a tall boy in the other one, but this one right here has quite a bit of work on it. So I want to take you guys through how I would fix things. This has some chipped veneer. The back is not set. It's a little bit off. It's kind of wonky. So we're going to be and the top is actually a little bit loose. So we will be doing some work on this piece and then I'm going to decoupage on this piece and we're going to do some blending and try to make this really beautiful. I think I'm going to strip the top and keep the light wood. But if you guys want to see that, make sure you stay here and don't forget to subscribe. This piece of furniture had veneer damage on each side and the back was not attached and the bottom was actually not attached either. And so I removed all of the drawers first and you can see how hard it is for me to pull the drawers out because the piece of furniture is kind of lopsided. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and put it on its bottom. And what I'm gonna do is pull this apart and then reconstruct it because this is why it's so wonky and this is why the drawers aren't really fitting. So I'm gonna take a mini pry bar and pull the back off and set that aside while I rebuild the rest of it. This part was fairly easy. All I did was pull everything apart, add wood glue, and then I took a mallet and I gently put it all back in place and I added new nails on each side so that way it would hold it in place and then the bottom was much more sturdy. So that bottom piece right there is also where the drawer slide is gonna go. And so we wanna make sure that it is nice and sturdy. I did reuse the wood because I didn't feel as though it was necessary to completely replace the other panel. And so as long as it's sturdy enough where this backing brace right here can go in, it is going to be just fine for what we need. The top of this piece was loose as well. You can kind of see it here, but when it's on its feet, when you try to lift it, you can definitely see it. And so I flipped it on its back and I'm going to take a drill bit and I'm going to go at an angle so that way I can take a screw and I can drill from the side up into the top to secure that much better. And what I'm doing is I'm making the hole a little bit larger so that way the screw can go up there and be embedded and it doesn't stick out so that way it doesn't mess with the drawer. But you can see right here how they go back together and then we don't have a problem. The next thing was to pull all the loose veneer off of the side. And so that is what I'm doing is pulling all the loose veneer off of both sides of this piece. Once I was done pulling off all the loose veneer with my hands, I took a metal scraper and I'm going to scrape anything else off. I'm going to go at it from the side so that way I can catch anything that's loose that's not properly glued down. When I go over these areas, if it is properly glued down, it's not going to come up with my scraper. And if it does, it's not going to come up very easily. So I need to just stop trying to pull it apart. And so once I'm done with this part, I am going to take a sander and I'm going to sand the edges and everything to make it more smooth before I go in with my Bondo. I'm using the all purpose putty Bondo. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to take the filler out of the can and there's a hardener and you're going to put just a little strip of hardener across. This hardener is blue. So once you mix it in, it's going to have a blue tint so that you know it's fully mixed. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that plastic spatula that I have and you're going to just fill all the areas that you want with Bondo. I don't know what happened, but I 
I must have pressed record or lost it in translation. I don't know. But anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to spread the Bondo on it like you're frosting a cake. I did not show it on here because I missed that piece. But once you're done, you're going to allow it to dry. I usually let it sit for about an hour. Although it starts hardening after 10 minutes, I really want it to just be nice and dry. So I am taking my five inch orbital and I'm going to sand it down until it's super smooth and you'll see here in a little bit once I put primer on how smooth this Bondo makes it look. So I am also going to strip the top of this piece with a chemical stripper. This is Jasco. I got it from Lowe's. I'm going to strip the top down because I want that light wood that's underneath it. And so I'm going to add the stripper and allow it to sit for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go through with my plastic scraper, which I also get from Lowe's. It's got a scoop on it, which I really like. And I am just going to scoop all the excess off. Once I was done, I cleaned this entire piece with Greeny Strip and Clean Cleaner. This is going to get it nice and clean and ready for primer. You can also use this to clean the top off after you have used a chemical stripper. You can also use mineral spirits to clean off after you've done a chemical stripper, but this will be your next step. Then what I did is I allowed the top to completely dry and I'm going to take my three by four electric ray and I'm going to start with a 120 grit and I'm going to go up to a 400 grit because I am not restaining this. I want this top to be really nice and smooth. And so that way, when I go in to do the next step, which I'm going to do this white woody stain, I know I told you I'm not going to be staining it. What I'm doing is creating a shadowing effect. I don't know why I wanted to do this, but I did. So I'm just gonna add this on the edges around the piece to kind of just add a little bit of something different that goes with the lighter natural wood. And I'm taking my Cristana brush, which I also use for blending, and I'm feathering it around. And so you're gonna see I'm feathering it around the whole top. And then what I'm going to do is allow it to dry before I go in and kind of adjust it. So I'm using a non-woven white abrasive by Surf Prep, and I'm going to just kind of rub on the edges to make it look like it is kind of whitewashed or worn, but it's gonna go out to the edges. The next step is to use the Purico base and blocker. I'm using their gray primer and here is where the Bondo is and you're going to see just how smooth taking that veneer and sanding and using Bondo really, really helped to fix this area. So I'm gonna cover this entire piece with this primer except for the top three drawers. So here are the top three drawers. I stripped them down the same way I did the top and I'm going to sand them and I am going to leave them with the natural look, but I'm also going to do that white woody stain from Nordic Chic around the edges so that it just kind of ties in with the top. I will be decoupaging this piece and so I'm just kind of placing it where I want and I'm going to cut the top because I'm only gonna decoupage underneath those drawers because I wanna keep them the natural wood. What you can do is you can take a paintbrush and dip it in water and go around the edges and then you can pull the edges off and it's gonna create a jagged edge. But what this does is it creates a jagged edge that is easier to blend in with paint so that you don't see those just straight lines when you're decoupaging on furniture. So this is super easy, just carefully pull this apart. Again, this paper is called Weathered Roses by Whimsical. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my Kirstana brush and I'm gonna lay down some a top coat. So you can use whatever top coat you want or whatever your decoupage medium is. And I'm going to lightly rub it across. So I like to wear gloves and this is a crumpled ball of cling wrap, saran wrap, nothing special, plastic wrap. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to push down the paper to get some of these wrinkles out. And so you're going to probably want to use this for most of the process. And so I'm just going to carefully push it down on the center, pull it down, add some more decoupage medium, rub it down. And I'm going to do this to adhere this paper into all of these areas first. And then once it's adhered to the piece, I will go over the top of the, the paper with the same top coat decoupage medium. And I'm going to rub that in and get all of the bubbles and creases out. Now I do want this to have a little bit of some creases just for a weathered look, but this will get most of them out. Once everything is dry, you're going to take sandpaper and you're going to go from the edge of the drawer out, kind of like what I'm doing right here. And what this is gonna do is it's going to basically cut the paper away from the drawer and that way you can easily just pull it away from the drawer. The next step is going to be blending this paper and doing a mottled blend on this piece. And so if you look at the screen, it's gonna tell you what color I'm using each time. It's really pretty simple. I take the colors and I match them with the paper and I kind of just go in circles and dab around so that way it can help me blend it out. And then with the colors, I just randomly place them and go in circles with my Happy Creating brush and it's gonna help create a blend with these colors and then what I do is I finalize the blend with taking my Cristana blending brush and I spritz the area and I just go over it to kind of blend everything and smooth it out.
Okay, everybody, this piece is done. This video is done. I hope you enjoyed that. There was a lot that had to be done on this piece and we decoupaged it and made it nice and pretty. And so now it's time to take pictures and put it up for sale. I'm gonna move out of the way so you can see it. So it does have a little bit slightly of distressing and that is just because I wanted it to go with this look. What I did with the hardware is I boiled it in just hot water and I scrubbed it with fine steel wool and then wiped it off. So this is the original hardware. I just cleaned it. It didn't polish it up too much, but it did clean it and get some of that grime and stuff out. So this piece is done. And until next time, guys, happy creating. Moi say bye, Rupert. And Rupert says bye and say have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody. Happy creating and I will see you later. been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around want to see it now pack our bags and get in that car real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is open